Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I am so excited to be doing a collab with none other than Rare Beauty Envy, also known as Victoria. She has a channel here on YouTube, but her main gig, I guess, is her Instagram page, which is incredible. I love her Instagram page. We've been friends, I want to say for a while now. We talk like constantly on Instagram and I love her style. I love her looks. I love her as a person. So please make sure you go check out Victoria's channel as well as her Instagram page. I will have everything linked down below. Editing Monica here, guys. Also, she is so close to a thousand subscribers here on YouTube as I'm filming this. She has 975 subscribers on YouTube. I would love it if you guys could go show her some love and get her to a thousand subscribers because she 100% deserves it. So this video today, it's going to be a couple of Valentine's Day looks based in pink and purple palettes both of us own. I struggle with reaching for pink and purple palettes and I'm basically trying to hit that head on with my Panda palette for 2020, which is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette. If you missed that intro in the playlist that I'm doing my Panda palette 2020 on, I'll throw it up in the cards. But for this video, I really wanted to like, over the course of this year, focus on pinks and purples and more looks that I'm really not reaching for at all. And when I thought of who I could maybe collab with, Victoria was the first one who came up. Not only is she the cut crease queen, <laughs> her looks are amazing, she does tend to do these really beautiful purpley pink cut creases. And like I first thought of those and I was like, I have to do this video with her. I have to because she does such beautiful looks. So thank you, Victoria, for collabing with me on this. I can't wait to see what you come up with. So like I said before, we're going to be doing two Valentine's Day looks in this video. And I wanted to pull out originally two palettes that I don't reach for as much just because they are more purpley pinky toned. But I ended up picking three. So I'm going to do like two looks mainly with the two main palettes but i have a, a kind of an auxiliary palette i'm gonna bring in like just for an inner corner highlight or something but that's the plan for this valentine's day video so let's talk quickly before i jump into the, the looks let's talk about the palettes that i picked out and why i picked them the first palette is from juvia's place and this is the collab with fumi this is the queen palette fumi x juvia's place and this palette is gorgeous stunning i've used this a couple of times and i actually really like it Originally, I thought I would do the same look I did before. I did a really neutral lid look, and then on the lower lash line, I did this pink and the purple on both sides. Beautiful. I kind of don't want to let myself get out that way. I want to do a full pink and purple look, so we're not going to do that today, but I love the quality of this palette. I love the packaging. I love the size. It's such a good palette, and I don't reach for it as often because it is mainly reds, pinks, and purples that I don't reach for as often, so... This is the first palette that I picked. The second palette that I picked is actually a like love slash Valentine's Day themed palette and I love the quality, I love the brand, but because it's more pinky-ish toned, I don't reach for it as often. And that is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Signs palette. And this is how she looks. Gorgeous. And it's not even like most of the palette, it's like, like a fourth to half of the palette is like these pinky tones. But I don't reach for this palette as often as I should. As much as I love the formula, I love the highlight, I love everything here, I need to reach for this more often. So this is why I picked palette number two. The last palette that I picked that I'm going to be using a little bit with each other palette in the looks is from Midas Cosmetics, and this is the Flower Bomb palette. I got this just because I saw so many other YouTubers rave about this palette, and so I had to pick it up. And you see there are a lot of like pinks and reds and just bright colors. My question, not question, but my issue is that I don't really like these glitters. I don't like pressed glitters. I don't reach for them that often. So that's what I want to do. With these looks, I'm going to mainly be using these other palettes for the look, but for like an inner corner highlight, for a little bit of zhuzh, I'm going to be using one of the glitters in this palette. So those are the palettes that I picked out for this. Let's go ahead and jump into the first look. I want to use the Juvia's Place palette for look number one. Oh my, oh, I'm, okay, good. I'm recording audio. Oh my god, I thought I didn't record audio and I was about to like throw myself into oblivion. Okay, so looking at the Juvia's Place palette, I've got this really bright pink, but I want something a little bit lighter for my transition before I go into that pink. So I think I'm going to go into the Flower Bomb palette and I'm going to get the shade Magnolia and I'm going to use that for my transition. 
I've already primed my eyes. I primed with the white version of the cut crease canvas from Makeup Revolution and then I set it just with my makeup, uh, with my makeup, duh, with my face powder from Physician's Formula. So I am just going to, I hope this isn't too light, but I'm just basically gonna blow this out in my crease to make a nice transition. Okay, so that was lighter than I thought it would be, but I think we have a decent transition here. So next, I want to jump in with the pink shade from the Juvia's Place Palette 7. And I'm going to go in, this is a MAC 217 brush, and I'm just going to take a little bit and start. Actually, I think I want to do my uh, sharp edge. So people have been complimenting me recently about how I get the sharp edge with my eyeshadow. I just use a card. So what I do is I get the product on my brush, I line up my card, and then I pat and just make that nice edge, blow it out a little bit. But this isn't for blending. This is really just for getting the edge. So I do that, and then I move it, and boom, we have an edge. And then I can go in and keep blending it out. Take a little bit more. Oh, that looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, now that we have that blown out, what I wanna do is go in with the purple and just deepen it up a little bit and see how that works. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the purple and There, I think that looks pretty. So I just really just want to use it to like deepen out this outer corner kind of part. Just add a bit more dimension to the pink. Okay, that looks pretty. I did get some fallout though, so I'm gonna try and brush that away. We'll see how that goes. Okay, it came right off. Nice. So I'm gonna take this shimmer and just I'm gonna try to take my finger and just put it on my lid and see just how it looks. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. Oh, that's not bad. I need to blend out the edge a little bit right there. Ooh, that is pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Ooh, 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 I like that. Okay, so then I think I was gonna go straight to my lower lash line. So for my lower lash line, I like to take the deeper color first and then blow my way out to the lighter colors. I'm gonna take the purple first, take it on this short shader brush and just pack it like on the outer third of the lower lash line. Okay, and then blow it out with the lighter pink shades. I'm gonna take this on a like tiny fluffy brush and ooh, pigmented. We're gonna pack it on a little bit and then blend it out. Ooh, that went wider than I thought it would, but it's not bad. Wow, so this actually looks really cute. I like it. So for the inner corner highlight, I really want to go into this palette, the Flower Bomb, and I think I'm going to take this light pink right here, which is the shade Blooming, just a little bit on my brush. And I want to use this to highlight my inner corner just a little bit like that. I try to keep it far enough away from my eye that I won't really get into it because it is a glitter. Just a little bit right there and right there. Oh, I got some down here. And then maybe, you know what, I'll take it up a little bit just like under my brow bone. Just a little bit, you see, just kind of like right there. And just a little bit. Right there. Cute. Alright, so I'm just gonna throw on some mascara. I thought about doing lashes, but I don't want to cover this up. It looks really pretty. So I'm just gonna do mascara and then we'll come back for the final look. And here's the final look. I'm really proud of how this came out. I think it's really cute. I love the blown out. I love the purple just like on the edge and that shiver shade on the lid is just blown out enough and it looks really pretty. Oh. I'm glad I did this one. So this is look number one with the Juvia's Place Fumi palette and with the Flower Bomb palette. Let's jump into look number two with the BH Cosmetics palette. Okay, so we are here. Time for look number two. And for this look, I want to use both of these palettes. So we've got the Zodiac Love Signs and the Flower Bomb palette. And when I saw these, I was thinking more of like a 
hot kind of pink look. I really want to use that shade, maybe that one. And we've got some nice pinks in the Zodiac palette, particularly I want to use like this baked shimmer. They gotta look real, oh, maybe that one. That's like a baby pink. Ah. So I'm gonna go for like a more kind of pinky look for this one. So let's get situated. Okay, so I first did my makeup like early this morning and I didn't just do my eyes. I just did primer and set them. And it's looking a bit rough, so I think I'm going to go in with the shade Lily, which is a very, very, very light pink. And I'm just going to use that to, like, reset everything around my eye. So it'll just give us a nice little base to start working with. Ooh, very powdery. Okay, now that we have that in, I really want to go for the more, like, bright pinky shades. I think I'm going to go in with Magnolia first, so this it's kind of like a pinky pinky peach but i think it'll make a nice transition shade now i'm debating whether i want to go in with this hot pink or use the pink from right here they look kind of similar this one's darker though okay so this one's dark this one's lighter than the bh one so i'm gonna go in with this one first just to start deepening out and adding a little bit of dimension this is the shade daisy and I'm hoping, ooh, huh, there's the pigment, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> Make sure you tap off your brush when you're using these shadows because otherwise you'll end up with my level of fallout. I'm having trouble trying to even the shadow out. I don't know if it's just me or just the kind of day or week I've been having, but they don't look even to me. Did that help? There we go, that's a bit better. So now that we've got those shades on, I wanna jump over to the BH palette and let's use the matte shade with Aries. That's gonna be our last kind of deepening color for this look. Let me get the right brush. I don't know if it's just me, but that BH shadow isn't blending as nicely into the Midas shadows as I would kind of hope it to. Okay, so I think that's all the matte shades. Let me take off a little bit of remaining fallout. So I think that's all the matte shades I'm going to go with on my lid. And now I'm debating whether I want to use the Aries Shimmer or the Scorpio. So I've got those two. Ooh, Scorpio matches better. Aries has kind of a like orangey kind of hue to it. So I'm not going to wear this all day. It's already like 6 p.m. So I'm just going to take the Scorpio baked shadow on my finger and just pat that on and even like just with my finger with no glitter glue no nothing and looks gorgeous i really do love the majority of the baked shadows from bh cosmetics not some of their all baked palettes are pretty shitty but the formula in these big zodiac palettes the baked shadows are gorgeous Again, we do have some fallout. I probably should have done my eyes first for this one because it's just fallout city. Okay, so that's pretty. So let's do the lower lash line. I'm just going to use two shades. I'm going to use the darkest shade from here and then the light first shade we used for the transition. Man, I got like palettes everywhere. I got brushes everywhere. <sighs> let's just do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. We have these. I got my inner corner highlight brush. Where's my floofy brush? My floofy brush, there it is. We found it. Deep shade. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm using a smaller liner brush for this just because of how like pigmented and dark that shade is. I don't want it to blow out too much. But we are gonna blend it. And in order to make sure I'm blending out without uh, putting too much new product on it, I like to just clean it off with my color switch in between. So I get this really nice like blended blown out look and then clean it off one more time and i'm going to go in with my lightest transition shade tap off the excess and blow it out even more and that's what gives you that nice like gradient on the lower lash line so um on your top you've got it going from light to dark and you got it coming out this way and then coming down you've got also a nice gradient effect look at me actually like doing tutorial things who is she now for the inner corner highlight Hmm. I think I want to use the shade from the middle of the BH palette. 
It might be too dark though, let me see. No, I think that works. So we're gonna just put this on the inner corner like this. And then I like to highlight just like the very arch of my brow right up there. Boop, 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 boop. So for something like this, I could do lashes and a big wing. I think a wing will look really pretty with this, but I have had too long of a day to try and do a wing right now. So what I'm gonna do <laughs> is just uh, throw on some mascara. <sighs> Should I do the wing? What if I fly too close to the sun and I ruin the whole look because I can't do a wing right now? Okay, take a step and just enjoy how this looks. Because I like how it looks. And now I'm gonna ruin it. Wing time! Okay, so they're a little uneven, but not terrible. <laughs> Not my best, but also not my worst. Are you sure about that? And that's where you, a big part is knowing when to stop. <laughs> uh, I could probably like go bigger and throw lashes on, but I'm not about to put lashes on. So, mascara. Okay, so not bad, not bad. And I think to finish this look, I'm going to use a black lipstick. So this is a new one I just got from Carity, and this is the Lip Lock in Vinyl. So it's my first time using it. We're going to see how this looks. Okay, so it's cute. It's just, it's sh a lot more sheer than I thought it would be. But it might not play with the chapstick that I use. Because right before I started filming, I just put a chapstick on just to moisturize. And it wasn't 100% melded in. I think it was like 80%. So maybe it just doesn't like working with chapstick. But it's comfortable. And so this is look number two. So those were both looks with both both of my palettes with an extra one thrown in. Thank you, Victoria, for collabing with me on this. I had so much fun and I just, I love spending time with you and getting to talk with you and I'm so glad you agreed to this collab. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.